If you have a Tascam Porta Studio with effects sends, but don't have any outboard gear, I'm going to show you how to harness Logic Pro to polish your tape recordings, add reverb, delay, and other effects. First, you're going to plug a cable into Effect 1 Send on the Porta Studio, and then the other end of that cable is going to go into your audio interface into Input 1. Then we're going to come out of the audio interface via Output 3 or whichever output makes sense for you. Then the other end of that cable is going to go back into the Porta Studio into the stereo input section 5 slash mono. So I have a session set up in Logic that I've called Tascam Effects Send Settings. I've got one track set up here, Effects Send 1 Reverb. Um, Make sure that whatever input you've put your um, effects send into, in my case, I did input one, so I'm going to leave that as input one. So whatever input you've used, make sure you have that matching. Um, and then I have some reverb set up here. And one thing that I like to do is to make sure that the wet signal is at the maximum and I've turned the dry all the way off because I will be able to adjust the wet and dry on the Tascam so I get pure wet signal from Logic. You also can add whatever effects that you like. You can add some tape delay, you can add more reverbs, you can EQ things. Um, because it's an effect send and you're blending kind of the two, the dry and the wet, this works best with um, reverb and delay type of signals, but feel free to experiment there. The other really important thing to make this all work is make sure that you select the input monitoring. Uh, that's going to turn on the effect in Logic so that it's monitoring and then it will send it to the Porta Studio, and again, you can blend the signal. Uh, so that's pretty much everything in Logic. Let's go back to the Porta Studio and see how it all works together. All right, I'm back over at the Porta Studio, and um, I'm recording this audio onto the cassette tape. Uh, this is just the dry audio coming from the microphone here, and I've got two microphones into the Porta Studio. I am going to turn channel 5-6, which is the effect send channel, to the left-right position. I've got it there. Uh, I'm going to give that some juice. And I've got two microphones uh, on tracks 1 and 3 for the vocal and the guitar. And I'm going to give this guitar mic some, some juice here. And you can start to hear the reverb that I have on in Logic coming through the effect send. Uh, so you, again, you can control how much of that you want in the guitar. And then I can put it on the vocal mic as well. And you can hear that start to come through. Uh, it's a little crackly when I'm adjusting it, but once it's in place, it sounds pretty pretty good. Um, you can also, I'm going to just turn off the echo, the reverb, and put on some delay. So you can hear that coming through. It's a little more subtle. Check, check, check. And so you can play with the effects that you like, whatever sounds good to you. Uh, you can combine things and then you can adjust the levels using the effects one knobs and the five six level to make sure everything's coming in nice and clear uh, well, let's try a little ditty here with some of this reverb on this is my song for the asking asking and I will play so sweetly I
And that's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful and uh, happy effects sending. We'll see you next time.